fungus ball. How did this fungus ball get into this patient's sinus? Everybody wants to know. And so what actually has happened in this patient is number one, at some point they inhaled through their nose a mold spore and it was probably super tiny and they didn't even notice it. And somehow that mold spore got lodged into the sinus cavity. The second thing that happened, which doesn't happen in everyone, is that they actually have an allergy to mold. And typically this is a type four hypersensitivity reaction. There's four different types. This is type four. And the body's response to the mold is that it produces this exuberant response, which is the production of all this sort of green, chunky mucus calcifications, in addition to the mold growing within that milieu. And so that's what's actually formed inside the patient's sinus, and that's what happened. So two things have to happen. You have to breathe in the mold spore, and you have to have an allergic reaction to it for this to build up. And it's actually quite common. We see these fungus balls in patient sinus cavities all the time. Hope that helps for you to understand.